Number 83 of the five elements S N S I S B O N T E, which has the most endothermic reaction. E represents an atom, and what name is given to the energy for this reaction, and then they provide you the reaction right here. So we did a very similar question in number 82, so if you want more practice, you could go back and check that one out if you haven't already. And with that being said, let's, let's start this one. All right, so I'm looking over here, right, and I see that I have an atom, which is represented as E, and I see that I have an electron on the right-hand side. Remember, this is the start, so this is the reactant side. Reactants is always the left-hand side, and this is the product side. That's what you make. Now, it seems like your atom lost an electron. An electron is on the product side. It wasn't on the reactant side, so this one is technically you lost one electron. Okay, well, we have definitely talked about a process in which we lost electrons, right? There's a trend for that. Do you guys know what it is? This is all about ionization energy. So the reaction that they actually provided is the reaction for ionization energy. So that actually gives the answer to the second part when they said what name is given to the energy for this reaction. It's ionization energy, or you could just say IE. Now, if you want to be more specific, this would actually be IE number one, because this signifies uh, what electron got lost. So if you started off with just an atom, like we did here, right, this one didn't have a positive charge, so that was just a regular atom, no charge, and you went to E+, plus, meaning that you lost your first electron, that would be the first ionization energy. But if you started off with E+, plus and went to E2+, plus, plus E negative, this signifies that you are losing your second electron because your end charge is a plus two. So this ionization energy would have been number two if they wanted to be more specific. So let me just erase this for now and then we will get to it. Now we just gotta figure out out of these five, which one is the most endothermic? Most means highest. Endothermic just means that the energy in this process is gained or absorbed. In the calculator and when you actually start doing the math, endothermic reactions will always have a positive energy value. Positive will just mean that it was either gained or absorbed. Remember, energy itself cannot be a negative, right? Energy by default is a positive number just like money is positive, right? But if you see a negative $100 in your bank account, it didn't mean that you gained negative $100, it means that you lost $100, but the, the money is still a positive thing. So same thing with energy. The negative, which is exothermic, just means that you lost energy. Positive just means that you gained energy. And ionization energy is always an endothermic process, which means that your energy value will always be a positive number. So now, what's the trend for ionization energy? We know this, right? As we go from left to right through a period, ionization energy will always increase. So that means that you need way more energy to lose an electron on the right-hand side as opposed to the left-hand side, because technically these non-metals, these always want to gain electrons, not lose it. And that's what ionization energy is all about. It's about losing electrons, not gaining. If I go down a group, ionization energy will decrease, mainly because these atoms down here are much, much larger. So there's not really that much attraction as opposed to the atoms up here. All right, so now let's circle our five atoms. So we have tin, which is over here. We have silicon, which is up top here. SB, antimony, over here. Oxygen, and tellurium. Where is TE? TE is right here. 
So which one would have the highest ionization energy, aka a highest endothermic reaction? Because ionization energy is always endothermic. Go by the trend. Well, if we drop down at any single point in time, my ionization energy will always decrease. And we want the highest number. So that automatically gets rid of these last three in these rows. And as we go from left to right, ionization energy increases. So it makes sense that oxygen would have the highest ionization energy, aka it would have the highest endothermic reaction. So which one would it be? It would be oxygen. Box that answer off. That's the answer. And we already stated the answer to the second part. It's called ionization energy, or IE number one. And that's it. That's the answer to these two questions. Easy as that, right? So thanks, guys, for tuning in. Let me know what you think. Click the subscribe button. That will help the channel out a lot. We're almost at 100 subs. That's pretty, that's pretty wicked. <laughs> so I'll see you guys uh, in number 84. See you then. Bye-bye.